Hi everyone and welcome back to my studio. I hope you're ready for some more fun. I'm going to use a slightly different shape and size canvas today, but we are going to bloom again because I am in love with this color. So we're going to have some fun. Let's go down to the canvas. Okay, our canvas today is a hexagon canvas from Master's Touch. Um, it is about 13 and a half inches the long way. Each edge is about eight inches long. <clears throat> so, it's pretty big canvas. All right, now, again, we're gonna use the Sherwin-Williams colors to go in Oceanside as our base. Uh, I've got some eye candy. I've got my Sabafu green. I've got my Hakashika white. I've got my Waihi blue. I've got my favorite 14K nugget gold for some sparkle. And penny copper and Kakiro orange. So that's all my eye candies. And then I've added some TLP submarine. This is by Craftus. It's called Ecru. It is a gorgeous shiny color. And just for fun, I have some Golden's Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. Okay, that is our paints for today. So let's get started. Make sure you get all your sides and edges coated. You want the paint to flow nicely everywhere. You don't want it to hit a dry spot and stop moving. All right, we're gonna start with the colors. Start with the ecru. I forgot to mention my cell activator. Hold on. Uh, the cell activator today is going to be my permanent blue violet. Try not to put too much paint on this stuff. Famous last words. We're gonna add our sparklies. That's our penny copper. Oop. 
what I really want to do. Gold. Put you want a nice put a look in the middle. Yeah, I got too much on here. Oh well. All right. going to use the blue cell activator, not the white, and not a two paint. And see what happens this time. Alright, we're getting the hair dryer out. We'll start. Definitely did not get that centered at all. So we can move that this way just a bit. Very off center. Other than that, not unhappy. center so that it's sort of helping move it that way and then we'll center it back again once it's a little more even on here
centered. Liking that. Wow. Oh, oh, the shimmer and shine on this one. Again, I put more paint on it than I should have, but you know, some days I just gotta have fun. So cool. section right here that's just the blue violet over top of the base paint. This webbing over top is just gorgeous. Alright, one more spin and we're gonna call it done. Mm -mm. Wow. Fabulous. All right, let's check how much movement we've got. Yeah, it's not moving much. Okay. I think we're pretty good. Ooh. Oh yeah, people. All right, let me clean up my edges, get this off the spinner, and I will bring you down for a close-up. All right, wet results. 
Oh, the shine and the sparkle. Just fabulous. This is that spot where I said it's just like weaving over the base with some of the 14K in it. Gorgeous around the outside and look at the center. You can see that sparkle. Oh, twinkle, twinkle. Just gorgeous. Oh, I'm so happy. All right, gonna let this one dry. Okay, we have semi-dry results. It's about 50% dry. The center is still very damp. But I am really pleased with how this is coming out. There's a lot of glare because it's, like I said, really damp still. But look at that section. Oh. But this center here is still very wet, so. I am pleased though. Loving these results. All right, in a future video, you'll see this one all the way dry. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you know when I have more videos. This is our local Monday train, and after me is our wonderful caboose, Angie Mason, with a live. Have a wonderful week, everyone.